All right, welcome back to the channel. Captain Steve Pope here with Kansas City, Kansas Fire Department and Firefighter Golf, because you're already here at this channel. But we're here at Tatanka Golf Club up here in the middle of northern central Nebraska. We're making a little journey and excursion out of this trip. You already saw the Landman video on the channel. Hopefully, if not, go back and watch that. Wonderful golf course. Uh, only open for like a year and a half now, maybe two years. And then we decided to make a journey excursion and come play Tatanka as well. So a quick little day and a half trip. Uh, I love showcasing these golf courses. For one, when I look for places to travel to, I, I look to see if there's any YouTube videos out there. So I like showcasing this golf course uh, and Landman and any, any courses I travel to. So this channel is about bringing awareness to uh, mental health for first responders. And I use the game of golf to recalibrate. So this trip, I feel recalibrated. I feel decompressed. Uh, but like I mentioned, I, I trying to grow the game, showcasing these golf courses, as well as help my first responders or any of my golf fans out there that, you know, hey, use the game of golf to help you decompress. Be aware of the mental health of your stress that's happening. Stress is a big is a big thing. And I didn't believe it was at first, uh, going along in my career for many years and just didn't feel stressed. And lo and behold, it hit, hit me like a, like a ton of bricks. So anyway, I try to share all of my story uh, I know I'm not sharing much of it now, but anyway, just be self-aware. Love you all, and uh, take care. All right, hole one's downhill. We're playing combo tees the whole day. We're going to pick the yardages we want to play from. There's the 150 post, I'm assuming, and a dog legs that way, we're thinking, according, according to the scorecard. Craig, you said 280 that bunker? Yeah. Okay. Right next to the post. There you go. Closest to the pole, right? Got 115. I'm assuming red flags are in front, so that's good to know. A little downhill. I got a choke down 52 here. Right at it. All right, good way to start the round. There she is. All right, Craig's playing in the snake grass. He got it out. It pulled him left, but he's out. They're not that fast. Gosh, <laughs> two day. I can't put on these courses. It's tough. Uh, all right. All right, hole two, we're gonna play the white tees, 505, not 435 green. Hole two, 505 yards, uphill pretty severe, it looks like there. Tatanka, hole two. Good ball. Thank you. Where's this fade coming from today? Little graveyard off hole number two. So it's severely uphill here, about 220. Got the three wood type hybrid. Almost to that bunker. Good miss. More lush. Yeah, more grown in just yeah. because it's got history. All right, we got a big long green snake here. So when I've looked at the aerial shots of this golf course on Google Maps, Every one of their bunkers looks like some type of animal or something or a footprint or something like that. And this one we're thinking squirrel? 
I think so. Yeah, it's hard to tell from this angle, but yeah, it looks like it. These fairways are kind of lush, so I should be able to get up and under this one. Get up that slope, don't come down it. All right, it got up there, it stayed up there. See if I can get it to the hole this time. Right to left from my side. Just gotta hit him. I, can't, I couldn't hit him at land, man. I can't hit him here, Craig. Ah. So I put another one down and hit it harder and it barely went like, I don't know, almost a foot past the hole. So I just gotta get myself to hit it today. The putting greens were a little faster here than uh, these these course greens. So I just gotta adjust. All right, we are on hole three. We're, Craig's gonna pick on the odd holes now, what tee boxes, and I'm gonna pick the even holes. We can do 425 downhill. Okay, 425 downhill, here's what we got. Wide open fairway. All right, from the white tees on hole three, 425 downhill. We're into the wind, but, and then the bunkering out there, I'm not sure what type of footprints those are. Nice. Yeah. There's room over there. We're on opposite ends of the earth. Well, you turned your shoulder. All right, here's my approach shot. Thank God this fairway is 200 yards wide. There's the blue flag back there. That tree might be in the way a little bit. We'll see. All right, we're about 206, 210 to this pin. Got the four iron. Not the greatest of strikes, but it's gonna run up. Good shot. Keep going, front of the green. Looks like it's slopey too to that pin. Yeah. All right, we got a foundation here. They're not considering it an integral part of the course because they give you a drop area. They got a tournament coming here for some men this weekend. But this looks like the old entrance right here. Cool, you got the graveyard and now you got the, the house here. All right, my ball didn't make the green, it looked like it did. That four iron with that stance, ball above my feet, I thinned it up here. But here's what I got, I'm gonna set the pin, or the camera all the way behind the pin here. Boy, look at this slopey green here, the double green. It's humid out, already starting to get there, so I went with the my rain glove now. Thank you. All right, I got a pitching wedge or a 52 here. I'm deciding which one here. Probably the 52, throw it a little further over this fringe. They're faster than that, come on. I mean, slower than that. Hit it, Steve. Hard to get used to it yet. Yeah, we should have played this from 400 yards. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, I, good putt. I, you know, we both hit shitty drives, so. Nope, didn't even get it there. I'll meet you down the bottom of the hill there. Okay. Beautiful setting. I mean, the trees down here in this little valley with trees, uh, creek. Beautiful. I, I recommend getting up here playing Tatanka. I know I'm only through three holes, but uh, yeah, get on up here. All right, I'm gonna play the 371 from the white. Hit it good. All right, look at this uphill wickedness. Dog leg left, got a bunker there. The 150 post is right there to your right just a little. All right, I don't know where to go. <laughs> Just somewhere out there, right? Someone left me a blue tee. Take it. Run up that hill. It did. We're at the top, folks. 
you know, it didn't look like it hit it high at all, but just it's so severely upsloped that, you know, it's probably a normal ball flight on flat ground. That's what's wonderful about this game is the deception that you can put in with bunkers and this slopes and uh, blind tee shots. So that's what I love about it. At the top of hole number four here, the view is, is pretty priceless. All right, hole four, another blue pin in the back. I'll get to the, get you the yardage when I'm by race swing. All right, I got 144, it's slightly into the wind. I'm gonna go with this pitching wedge because I do not want to be over with a nine iron. And with these new gen sixes, they go about 10 yards further than my old gaps. Tried to save that at the end, but all right, front of the green, see if I can two putt. Gosh. Yeah, so I towed that one and it didn't fly as far into the wind. So I got me a long putt here, I gotta navigate. Um, and that's kind of the, you know, I could have choked down on the nine iron and, and tried to fly it in there better, and but I didn't want to go over. I don't know this course, so I'm trying to play conservative for the most part and give myself, you know, just enough opportunity to at least get the par. Um, you know, that's how I play. I'm more conservative. I don't attack pins that often, especially those back pins when the number's not there for me. So anyway, let's see what I can do with this putt. So, these greens are slopey, but this one's not so bad here walking up. Man, you can't beat that view. Wowzers. Get out to Tonka. To Tonka. Buffalo. All right, there's where the ball's at. Long putt. I'm going to put the camera over there. Got to make sure I hit this because the, there's still a little bit of dew on the greens too. So, all right, see what we can do. Come on, come on. Ah, misread that one, but it's good pace finally. Craig put his golf balls on the cart and left and they fell off. All right, I finally gauged a putt, and especially a long one like that. So, all right, I'm not sure what this bunker is I'm looking at. It looks like it's got some type of eye in the middle of it. I don't know. I don't know. I like it. All right, hole five. I'm gonna play it from 170. The green tees. All right, look at this. Top of the hill, par three, beautiful. Vista. That's what we got. I got a nine iron from 145-ish into the wind. Gosh, that's why I left that pitching wedge. Get up there. That's horrible strike. Don't hit that to you, everyone's got bad mojo. All right, nice walk up this to this vista. Nice, these two holes. That's more like a back pin more than middle. Yeah. Definitely. They tricked us. <clears throat> Tatanka. Uh, I have a 54 and a 52 here. These greens might speed up as the day goes. He just mowed this one, so <laughs> the last hole had some dew on it. All right, I like the 54 with this lie. A little downhill early on, so then back up, it looks like. Climb, climb, climb. Wow. Got to hit them even more. They're just not mowing them low, probably. Because it is getting humid right now. So that's more of a climb than I thought, too. I don't even know if it would have got over the front of the hole. Yep, I think it would have made it. Gosh. All right, hole six here at Tatanka. 
drivable possibly downwind a little bit and look at the bunkers the animals in front whatever they are looks like a raccoon and a something all right playing from the 312 yard tee box i won't be able to get there today it's into the wind It'll be a good spot Right by the fox, the raccoon, or the squirrel, or whatever they are. All right, here's what I got. I'll give you the yardage when I'm about ready to hit to this front pin. All right, so it's about 70 yards. Got a 58 here. It's up there. Look pretty good to me from here. We'll see. All right, a little deep, but I'd rather be there than down there. So, downhill putt. All right, downhiller. Looks like right to left. Left to right from your angle. Uh, looks like I'm about to go about three feet out maybe. This green seems faster because I, I didn't try to hit it that time. All right, hole seven. I'm gonna play it at 407. Hole seven, 407, uphill. If I go right over this bunker here, that's probably a good line. <laughs> we found his ball. That's a good ball. All right, 120 yards to that white pin over a bunker that looks like some type of animal claws. All right, I have the pitching wedge up this hill, 120, kind of slightly into the wind, but this ground here and the uphill to it, so. Come on, wind, take a left now. Nope. It's up top though. All right, I can't complain about that one being a little right because if I'm here, I'm down here by the camera. You probably can't see the perspective, maybe you can. So I'm happy with this, I guess. Okay, it's not reading them right. Getting the pace now even though I felt like I pounded that one. So that's what you have to do on these golf courses, not just this one, but any golf course, you have to adjust to the conditions that they're playing. So either way, beautiful golf course. The vistas are wonderful. So get out here to the Tonka. I've already said it three or four times. Hole number eight coming up. All right, there's the yardage for hole number eight. <laughs> Someone broke the sign off or whatever happened, I don't know. So we got what's green and what's white, Craig? 204 to the green, white is 215. All right, 204 sounds good enough to be me. I'll be playing the green. All right, 204 yards to the middle. It's a red flag up front. Yep, that's your swing path too. I bet, I bet on track, man, we'd see it going out that way. All right, Craig went before me with a seven and didn't get it there. So I'm gonna go with the six. Look at the butt on that guy. We'll see if she's there or not. No, that's even short. <laughs> God, I felt I hit that decent. Up. Front, all right, there's where my six iron ended up. I hit a little toey. That's been the problem with these new irons. I need to, when I picked them up, they weren't able to spec check them for me. 
He's going with the putter. <laughs> not a bad choice. No, it's not, but it's not the best. I should be able to pitch it up there. Well, you don't have confidence in it, then... Shot. Man, they're not rolling out like you would think. Woo! <laughs> that hole grabbed it! Thank you, hole! Did it break to the left? <laughs> well, it, it did, and then it went right again. That was weird. Because mine was right all the way. Yeah, I, I thought yeah. it's going right. All right, hole nine. Got a lot of choices because you got that, uh, how should I say it? You got to lay up or get across that creek on the left. So I'm debating whether I'm playing the 520 or 447. I'll let you know. All right, so this is not even an, an easy drive from down here at 447. Uh, so I decided to play down here just to have some fun. I don't know the golf course, so uh, we're gonna get some yardages and see if we can make it across the creek there. I'm not sure if you can see this, but let's see if the camera can focus. It's two, about 279 to that 150 post, so that's gonna be a poke for me. All right, I got a five iron because we're into the wind. Probably should have played back there at the blue. I think this fairway on the right is part of 18's fairway too. Nice shot. Thank you. All right, looks like it's in the fairway. All right, it's uphill, 245. I'm gonna hit this three hybrid. Yep, just a little ride up there, of the pin area. I didn't see it laying. Oh, oh. Craig, you stayed on the planet. <laughs> yep, let's go, we can drive. Yeah. I can hold it like this. Oh, oh. All right, there's mine down there. Probably gonna be about 50 yards. Here's what I got. So there's a little fall off right here. I gotta get up top here. A little backstop there. I got a 58 and 54 with me, so. So we've had the course to ourselves today. It's been pretty awesome. Got the 54 here. Ah, oh, I stayed on that bottom tier. All right, just gotta make sure you hit them up this slope. And I feel like I killed it, man. It's just crazy how hard you gotta hit it. All right, hole 10 here at Tatanka. I'm gonna play the white from 395. Hole 10 out here at Tatanka, downhill. Pretty hole looking up here on top of this hill. All right, Greg. Thank you. Just a little bunt out there. Let it run down the slope. Thanks. Whee! All right, we got about 105. I'm gonna hit like a, I got a 54 because it's slightly in the wind to the right. So I'm gonna choke down on this a little maybe. Cause it's downwind, this is gonna de-loft the club. I mean, not downwind, but downhill, de-loft the club. Now work it, win. There we go. Okay. Good shot. Thank you. It's like magic sand. All right, I've had these birdie opportunities several times a day and just 
can't cash in on them with these slower type greens. All right, here we go. And I say slow. Man, I didn't feel like I hit it any harder than the other times. <laughs> Is it this green's fast or? I'm just adjusting too much. Well, folks, not a way to start there. Aggressive with that birdie putt and uh, aggressive with that birdie putt and I paid for it. All right, hole 11. Wicked little hole, looks like. Bunker there in the way. And you gotta clear the water on the left. 383 I'm gonna play. All right, about 387 from these white tees to that bunker, it's like 245. And there's the pin up there. Clear that. Okay. Woo. So Craig says it was a running, like a force force gump it was pull a, draw. It was a running. So let's see if it didn't run into the gunch. All right. Here's my shot coming up this slope. That's what I got. I'll give you the yardage when I'm hitting. All right, I got about 71 yards up this hill. I got a 58 here. Ah, oh, skinny. Get down. Go. All right, shot four now. Hazard, hazard drop, penalty area drop. You know how on those type of putts where I just three putted from 15, 20 feet, how it can get you frazzled for a little bit. So I just got to regroup here. Hit a good shot here and try to get a five. Nope, not gonna get there. Well, they're running out more now on these back nine then. All right, this is the putt for bogey. All right, nice double. Way to start the back nine, Steve. Craig, you're rubbing off. The, the dread. All right, our match starts now. Yes. All right. So the so the one dreaded. Over, one over on the back. The dreaded Craig disease. All right, hole 12. Doesn't get any easier. These first few holes are kind of tricky to the eye, in my opinion. But here's the par three we got. One what? 92? 92, yeah. All right, I got a five iron. It's uphill, slightly downwind, but. There you go. Oh, it's taking that slope right, stop. All right, it stopped, but that's, man. These, these first three holes are tricky. Yeah, these first three holes are not visually uh, pleasing to the eye, to say the least. Craig and I were talking off camera, so. All right, back nine's tough so far. All right, there's where it ended up in the rough, and here's what I got. Kind of short-sighted, but luckily the greens are uh, kind of slowish. <laughs> Nice, he made it. Don't come all the way down. All right, it stopped for me. Oh! 
once it hit this brown stuff, it almost slowed it down. It was kind of weird watching it. New putting style. All right, hole 13, par five. I'm gonna play it from the 514 green. Have a little fun, try to get there. All right, so the white tees are the 515. They've moved everything up a little bit today, so that's where I'm gonna play from today now. Straight away, it looks like. That's a good miss. Ah, I'll take it. It's running. So grab. All right. So I'm about 245. A little down, downhill slope. So I got the 17 three wood hybrid type. That ain't gonna kill me, I don't think. I don't know what's up there. That is the rough thing playing a new course. You have no idea where to miss it. Yeah, so visually, this back nine I think is tougher. Uh, I don't know what's up there. Yeah, the green's kind of big and right in front of me, but if you just miss it right or left a little bit, you just, uh, just giving you, a, you know, the showcase and the update of what I think of the course. Uh, still love it, but this back nine is beautiful, but this back nine's tougher to read as far as visually. It is. Landman's more like in front of you. There was only one blind tee shot. Uh, yeah, there's some intimidating, intimidating deception stuff there, but uh, yeah, still love them both. All right, so it ran all the way through this bunker. I don't know what animal footprints those are. And ended up right here, luckily. That's what I got. All right, it's kind of soft underneath this, it looks like, because there's sand underneath this, so. Came out pretty good. All right, there's where it ended up. Got a birdie opportunity. I think they're faster on this back nine. Out in the world. <laughs> mm, just needed to borrow more. What do you know? Par. My mental mindset's back to par now, Craig. <laughs> Hole 14. Probably going to play it from 409. And you went straight. Yep. I did reset my body though because I felt like I was. <clears throat> oh, they're with you. Good shot. That's that ball flight from yesterday. That. That low, like little drawy. Fucking bullet. Oops, sorry. Bullet. Bullet. Oh, uh, you can cuss now on YouTube. <laughs> I dare you to walk across the top of that. No? Maybe not with my golf. <laughs> All right, my ball is about five yards behind me, but doing this to show you where the pin's at. We could have cut the corner more, Craig, but yeah, no we didn't know. So here's what we got looking back. We couldn't tell how far left from the tee or right right now to go. All right, ball above my feet. I got the pitching wedge, 126-ish. That's gonna be down in the hollow, isn't it? Yeah, a little Yankee. Uh, uh, yeah. Probably chipping up. So I landed right there, took the slope of the green, and I'm down there in the rough. So good luck, coming up. Man, that was a gnarly lie. Thank you. Uh, yeah.
Thank you. Woo. So for a hole that Craig and I have no clue off the tee, and that's what this back nine theme has been about. I think it's just, you need to play it once, then you know. But at least the front nine, it was more in front of you. Yep, it was. So, but anyway, I like it so far. Love it. Hole 15 here. I'm gonna have to zoom in on it because there's bird crap all over it. 305, 323 from the white. I'm not sure yet for me. All right, hole 15. I'm playing it from the 315 whites. That's what I got. This hole at least is in front of you. You can see it. That's probably a good angle to come in from. Over there by the cart path. Hole 15 tee box vistas. Beautiful. All right, I got about 60 yards to this blue pin here. Got a 58. I feel like it's a pull and might be might be too far with the pull. All right. That pull added some distance for me, so I'm just off the green. I'm gonna putt. <clears throat> that thing like wobbled like a snake. Thank you. Yep, right there at the end. All right, done with hole 15, 16th. Hole coming up, because you know it goes 15, 16 for the people that don't know that, but just trying to educate you in this game, you know? Now, a beautiful vista here when you get on top. Could be down in the valley by the little creeks. Beautiful course. All right, the sign was broke back there, so I couldn't film the hole so it's 401 down this hill to that double green so it's it's a hole with three fairways pretty much or because you're coming from hole two and hole three i think right yeah towards those footprint bunkers it's over my All right, it's about 134, 35. The pin is pretty much right behind this tree on the right side. I got a pitching wedge. Ah! I didn't want to pull it down the tier. That's not a bad spot. All right, there's my weak pitching wedge. And that's what I got left. Come on, gosh. Nope, I just can't hit them hard enough on the lines. I mean, that one makes it if I play out here, but the line I chose, I didn't hit it hard enough. Hole 17, we're gonna play the 181 white tees. 185? 185, Craig says, to that blue flag. Downhill, back pin. <laughs> Oop, a little gas. It is funny, you set that back hip. And you, just you can push and go the other way. Drive through it, that's all it is. I'm not even. I mean, I'm sure I'm still rolling my hands a little bit, but not like it was. No, it's not. God dang it. A little thin? No, no. I just pushed in the right. That's my miss. Bunker. It might have been the six for me.
All right, so I'm up there in the bunker, so I'm gonna set the camera back here. Park. Found me a new putter. All right, par five. We're gonna go to the 512 yardage. White tees. I, I, I didn't see it back there, but. Hole 18 from the Whites, 510 yards uphill. All right, let's do it. Game's that simple, right? Yeah, you're gonna keep playing. Oh, no, I'm done after this. <laughs> I felt it about four holes ago. I was like, woof, body's not used to playing two days in a row. That and six hours sleep and Pound town! Yeah, that's a good one. For me. Yeah, that's about as hard as I can hit those. One little just. Aim a little further left, just a little. There you go. You? Mm hmm. Right there. Held off a little bit, but not bad. I still went out that way. All right. All right, we got about 240 up the hill. She's in play. Man, it's like that got knocked down quick. That was weird when I watched yeah. it bounce. All right, I ended up with a birdie yesterday at Landman. Let's see if I can do it here today because I haven't had one. Got 48 yards about. <clears throat> All right, Craig said good shot. Here's what I got from this side. I'm gonna move the camera up there. Oh man. Good par. There we go. I told myself to freaking hit the ball. <laughs> oh. Good putt. Good Golfing bird. gods brought me back. Good bird. Good little trip, brother. Good round. All right, Craig, give your synopsis of Tatanka. Fun course, challenging, beautiful, worth the drive up. Tag team it with Landman. Land you won't regret it. It's fun. All right, thanks for watching the part two here at Tatanka Golf Club means Buffalo uh, anyway my synopsis beautiful setting trees as well as you know open fairways pretty much um, there's some tricky holes on this back nine but other than that once you play it you'll probably be more comfortable with those tee balls and the approach shots so but I enjoyed it immensely especially this little Nebraska two course tour we did and uh, no, Landman Tatanka. Make sure you get and play those. Love you all. Stay self-aware. Thanks.